Joyce Harp Park is better known as Carter Road and it's one of my favorite places to ride in Florida. There's lots of gators and the trails are bench cut so you definitely don't want to fall into the water. These trails are built and designed to be ridden in one direction, but one day a week, they run everything in reverse. So this is the Wacky Wednesday edition of the Three Fingers. The Three Fingers are technically three separate trails that are all about a third of a mile long. So this entire ride I'm doing today is about one mile long. Each trail is built on a peninsula that goes out into the water and it's comprised of short, punchy climbs. Even though the trail directions are reversed, I'm still doing the fingers in sequential order since they get more difficult as you go from one to three. The end of the first finger is a fun downhill. I like to use it as a chance to recover so I can start off the second finger with this massive up. As I make my way out the second finger, I'm kind of just cruising along the water using this as an opportunity to catch my breath. I want to do all the A-lines in reverse and that's going to involve going up a pretty big ladder bridge drop from the normal direction. As I come around this turn, I have my heart rate under control. I'm going to take the easy way up this climb. That's only so I can save a little bit of energy and use every ounce of it to do this really big step up. This is the highest consequence move of the entire loop. There's nowhere to bail so you just have to pedal into it as hard as you can and go for it. Here's the payoff for the short punchy climbs. You get to flow along the ridge on your way back to the start. And I'm gonna sit up one last time and recover. I just did the scariest part of the loop. Now I'm gonna do the most physically demanding. As you come around this turn, you have to stand up and crank with everything you've got to make it up one last super steep uphill. There's a go around, but I wanted to do all the hard lines in reverse. Then you have one more roller, and then this ladder bridge climb that looks pretty intimidating, but you carry speed up it pretty well. That leads you into one of the fastest, straightest downhills of the entire run. It's got some cool armored sections and nice drop offs as you make your way to the end of the third peninsula. Here's a turnaround point, and since I'm almost done, I figured I'd do it with some style. Once you've made it to this point, you're pretty much in the clear, but as I can tell you from personal experience, once you stop concentrating on the trail, that's when accidents happen, and you don't want to go swimming with any alligators. So stay focused and flow this last bit of single track as you make your way back to the main fire road. There's a couple last trees to duck, and if you want to try out this trail, remember to only try it in this direction on a Wednesday. If you've made it this far, you should be psyched and high-five your buddies because you just cleaned all three fingers.